little pop quizlet here. Who here drives a car? I suspect that there's many of you. I'm not going to get smug. I only passed my test three years ago. I've got to say, it took me a hell of a long time to get around to doing it. And it has improved my life beyond all measure for a start since learning to drive. I find I've developed amazing powers of clairvoyance. I now know exactly how I'm going to die. Some 16-year-old smackhead in a Burberry cap and somebody else's fiesta is going to get me. And the odds are getting better every day. But uh, let, me, let me refine my earlier question in a kind of a Google fashion. And those of you here who do indeed drive a car, who here drives a BMW? There's always someone gets grassed out by the nearest and dearest. The BMW drivers themselves seem strangely reluctant to answer that question. No, 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 no. It's OK. You can answer this question for me internally if you prefer, because there is a question I've wanted to put to the BMW driving community of Britain for quite some considerable time. It's a very simple question, but it does keep me awake at night. So the question is this. What the fuck <laughs> happens to you bastards when you get into those bloody cars? I drive an average seven or eight hundred miles a week, and in my time on the road I've learned two important facts. One, there are no services on the M40 between London and Oxford. Two, all BMWs are twats now. <laughs> The risk of spreading dissent in what has thus far been a very friendly room, I'd like to clarify that statement. You may notice I didn't actually just say all BMW drivers are twats. I'm willing to believe BMW drivers may well, in their own private time, be perfectly nice, normal, reasonable, happy, balanced individuals until they get into their bloody cars whereupon something weird happens up here. It's the cars. The cars are evil. They are. They are evil cars. They make them evil. They are Christine. They are the anti-Herbie. They are evil cars. <laughs> they mess with your mind. They do. You get in, you get comfy, you close the door, you strap yourself in, you're full of nothing but nice thoughts and love for the whole human race, and the car starts whispering. And it says, do you see them? <laughs> do you see those other drivers? Do you see those people that are driving cars that are not BMWs? You see them? Hmm? Yeah, you see them. Well, screw them. Screw them all. You must not take them into account on any level. Cut them up. Overtake them on the inside. Pull out in front of them without indicating such trifling matters as box junctions on traffic lights do not apply to you for your driving. Das Uber Auto. All other drivers are intimates. Where this is not the case, they also will be driving a BMW. <laughs> Evil cars! <laughs> get you to the radio, my friend. That's how it gets you. Right there. It's the blau punk. That's how it gets you. And it's subliminal. I don't care. You don't really have five live on the go, all right? Coming underneath it directly into your subconscious, there is. <laughs> Funny, I was going to Sainsbury's, but I have a strange urge to invade Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I, uh. I am, of course, making something of a crass and sweeping generalization at this point. Not all BMW drivers become twats the minute they get into their cars. A lot of them were twats to start with. <laughs> because there are, are there not, many different kinds of twat in this world. And our friends at BMW make a car for every bastard one of them. <laughs> We will start small with your ditzy posh blonde bird in the rinky-dink little Z3. Latte in this hand, mobile in this hand, steering with her tits. <laughs> Move it up a notch to your 19-year-old crack baron in his M3 ragtop. Ragtop down at all times. November, pissing rain. Ragtop down. Gangsta lean right out the window. Not because he thinks it's cool, he's just worried if he drives with his head inside the car, his subwoofer's going to make his eyeballs explode. <laughs> Moving on to the twat of all twats, the 55-year-old company director with blood pressure like Mount Vesuvius barging everybody off the road in his huge Series 7. Bugger off! Bugger off! Do you not bloody see I'm in a BMW Series 7? Bugger off! It's my bloody road and you're just driving on it. Bugger off! These are the same guys, incidentally, when they're not trying to kill everybody in a BMW Series 7. Sit at home writing endless letters to the Daily Mail to go, when, oh, when will this government ceaseless persecution of the motorist end? If it's not enough, I am forced to drive on the left, which frankly is nothing more or less than political correct has gone mad. If it's my choice to drink four bottles of sherry at three o'clock in the afternoon and then drive past a primary school at 120 miles an hour, it's nobody's business but my... <laughs>